Howdy all, and welcome to Lex Live. I think it's time to play a little Xenonauts. Uh, so this is uh, a relatively new game based on some old games. Uh, I don't know... I, <laughs> I don't know who was involved in making the game. I don't know if there are people who worked on previous incarnations of this. But this is not a new concept of a game. <clears throat> this is very much in the line of XCOM and the UFO series. Uh, and it plays very similarly. Uh, it's a lot like the original uh, XCOM and the UFO series a little bit. I haven't played very much of it. I played a, just a little bit to make sure it was something I wanted to do. But uh, I, my plan is to keep uh, some kind of strategy game going on the uh, on my channel here. And since Evil Genius just wrapped up, uh, this is going to be my replacement for Evil Genius. And uh, I, I love this kind of game. Uh, and I am really looking forward to uh, trying this out. Uh, now I will warn you, there may be a lot of saves and loads during this series because I don't like to lose people. <laughs> and so I may be saving and reloading in combat to keep my people alive. I might not. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, but uh, just be prepared. So we're going to start a new game. Uh, I'm going to play on normal, which I know is probably easier than I should, but... Uh, it says here, uh, when I was looking through the different things, normal. Uh, you've played strategy games before, but are not an XCOM veteran. I have played XCOM, XCOM Terror from the Deep. Um, there's there's another XCOM game in there I've played. I've not played through the uh, like XCOM... There's a couple of them I haven't played through. I have them on... Steam. Man, we got a thunderstorm about to pour through here. I might not be able to even record this, but uh, uh, if you hear some rumbling, that's thunder. <laughs> so, uh, uh, and then the UFO games. I've played through uh, uh, I've played through one of the UFO games, and I got pretty far into um, whichever one takes place on Mars. And... I think my save file got corrupted. And I could never get into the second one that takes place on Earth. They just kept killing me off too fast. Um, uh, they're pretty cool. Like the, the first... I, okay, the first UFO game... We'll do this real quick. The first UFO game uh, takes place on Earth after, uh, UFO, or after an alien invasion. Uh, and so you're like the resistance. And it's it's pretty cool. And, and uh, I thought it was a lot of fun. And then... Uh, Really hard. It's really difficult in spots to get through, though. The the difficulty in that game is way high. And then the second one, you're on board a um, you're on board a space station, and you're like the aliens make a deal toward the end of the first game where you can save humanity by um, by agreeing to live on space stations. And so the second game says that's what happened. Only the space station you're on is about to fail, and so you uh, you take over, fly down. I somehow you wind up with a mobile base in, in the atmosphere or in space, and you use your shuttles to go down to the planet to get resources and things. And uh, there's like three or four different groups that are there. There's like cyborgs, um, psionics, humans, and the aliens. Um, the aliens are gone, but there are aliens who've gone feral on the planet, I guess. I don't know. I really could not get into that one. The difficulty was just so high, they would just kill me off, like, instantly. And then the third game in the UFO series is uh, takes place on Mars, and you're uh, part of a archaeological team. I really want to play those again. Uh, and they find a... Uh, an, a Martian temple, basically. And when it activates, it releases these things they call the beasts. And so you have to uh, research your gear up. And it's it's like this. This is a squad-based tactical kind of thing. But uh, we're going to play on normal. I am an XCOM veteran, but veteran might be a little harder than I 
feel like playing at the moment. So the game is a little more forgiving, and the aliens are somewhat less dangerous than usual. Uh, we'll go with that. Game options. There isn't a whole lot on here I saw. I wanted to change on the game options. So we'll leave that alone. I did see there's like some ground and air combat commands. Uh, I don't... XCOM did not have air combat, so I'm really curious as to how that works. Because um, I didn't really get a feel for it in the, uh, the little tutorial that starts this off with. So let's go ahead and begin the game. Uh, and so this is your main screen. We start off looking at the Geoscape. Uh, and this is uh, the Geoscape. Shows all the territory you're defending from invasion. Alien foes will periodically spawn on the map, damaging your relations with funding nations until they are shot down or complete their mission and disappear. You will shortly be asked to place your first base. Uh, the blue circle around it represents the range of the base radar, which automatically detects UFOs that pass inside it. Try to cover as much territory as possible with your first base. Uh, once you've done this, you'll want to speed up time until an event occurs. Uh, the arrow buttons at the top here, right here at the top, are used to speed up and slow down time. Um, the objective of the game is to shoot down alien craft and capture artifacts from the crash site, uh, and then research them to unlock new technology and learn more about the alien threat. Eventually, you will learn enough about them to defeat them once and for all, which is pretty standard for this type of game. So select a primary base location. Since I am from the United States... I will place my base in North America. <laughs> uh, and so I'm going to put it right, right here, I guess. Uh, North America. Okay, so here's our first base. So, uh, I don't see a pause button on this one. Uh... There doesn't seem to be new pause or pause button. Uh, we have a budget over here, so this is how much money we have. This is um, total casualties, uh, forecast change. I don't know what that is. Monthly upkeep is seven hundred thousand dollars. Previous monthly income two million eight hundred sixty-four thousand two hundred fifty thousand. Wait, I can read two million eight hundred sixty-four thousand two hundred fifty dollars. Um, we currently have one million five hundred thousand. Uh, here's a button to build a new base, so we could put another base in when we when we get ready for that point. Um, launch interceptors. If aliens appear on the screen, you launch interceptors to take them out. Uh, objective: complete alien invasion research. So we've got these buttons. The first one here is geoscape. Uh, the second one is really you don't want to give me a tooltip. Thank you. Base management. So when I click on that, this shows you your base. This is the the grid where you can build uh, and uh, and then there's a list of things you can build so right now I can build a radar array we have one of those a hangar uh, we actually have four of those already living quarters uh, we've got one of those a storeroom we got one of those a laboratory we have one of those a workshop we have one of those a medical center we don't have a medical center uh, let's throw in a medical center. I'm sure we'll need one of those. A garage. We don't have one of those. I don't even know what that is. I, like I said, I haven't played this too much, so this is all kind of new to me. Uh, and it, it is different from the other versions I've played. Uh, most of them stick to the XCOM strategy of things but uh this one seems to have added in a few things and then a missile battery i'm gonna throw in a missile battery too um that might be a lot of money i just wasted putting all that in immediately uh and then here on the left it gives you little stats right personal capacity research capacity workshop capacity hangar capacity garage capacity hospital beds how many soldiers i have 10 soldiers 10 scientists 10 engineers detection range 800 kilometers defense strength zero um and the monthly maintenance fees. So monthly cost is $737,500. Uh, so our next button is research. Ah, uh, uh, Commander, please do tell me how to do my job. Uh, and uh, we are currently working on the alien invasion and have 10 scientists applied. Uh, and there's a button to hire and fire scientists. So if you need more scientists, you can uh, you can apply for that. Uh, 
apply for that. You can just add more scientists. I don't know what I meant by that. Uh, here we have the uh, the workshop. And I'm not really sure how to use this stuff. These are all grayed out. We might not be able to uh, to do any of this yet. Probably not researched. Uh, and then we have uh, barracks. And this lists my soldiers and their stats. And this is why I probably don't want my soldiers to get killed off. Because they are going to be um, maybe going up levels and stuff. And their stats will get better. Uh, manage soldiers, uh, which I guess we're looking at, and then hire soldiers. And then next is the storeroom. This guy says there's nothing here for me to look at yet. Uh, soldier equipment. We have our soldiers. They're already killed or kitted out, so kilted out. <laughs> They're all running around in dresses. No, uh, uh, and so you can see like. Uh, uh, was that Corporal Alice Leroy has been assigned to salt, and Corporal Alexander Bishop's a sniper. Uh, Corporal Garcia here is a salt. Uh, Corporal Hall's a rifleman. Corporal, what is that? Bunnin is heavy weapons. Corporal Braun is a rifleman. Sergeant uh, rifle is a, Sergeant Iv <laughs> Ivanov is a rifleman. And Corporal Trimbalt is a rifleman. Uh, pretty standard setup for this kind of game. Uh, no vehicles, because I have no garage. I just built one of those. I did. I was surprised when I saw there were vehicles. I don't know. Does that mean like you have tanks and stuff? I don't know. And then our planes. Uh, and we've got two interceptors and room for another one. And we got one drop ship. Uh, and so you can see uh, it lists the soldiers that are on board. Uh, and then the help, which just uh, are the info, info deck thing here, which just basically tells you uh, about your interceptors, the F-17s, uh, and stuff like that. It actually doesn't go anywhere for me. It's also September 1979. Uh, all right, so we're going to do our first save here. Save game, and we're going to call this main. I usually save a lot in these kind of games. Okay, so now we've got a UFO detected. So we'll center on UFO and slow the time down to seconds. Uh, and then I usually do this. Save game. UFO spotted all right and then when we click on the ufo you can see it's a small ufo it doesn't have an escort uh it's at 16,000 meters uh it's headed north so that's good it's headed in my direction well i don't know if that's good but uh and then we want to intercept so i'm going to send both interceptors against it and then uh let's zoom in here and so they will fly out to meet it. I'm going to speed the time up a little bit here. Uh, and, oh, it's, it flew over the water. Whoa, it abducted people over the water. Um, I don't know if it's going to come back. Let's, uh, let's engage it. We'll take this one out. Okay. Uh, air combat. Air combat can either be auto-resolved or fought manually in Xenonauts, depending on player preference. This is the manual method. Combat can be paused, unpaused at any time using the spacebar. Each unit can be controlled individually with the shaded areas representing the fire arcs of their weapons. Missiles must be in fire range and have target lock before they can be fired. There are up to three units on each side. Uh, the selected unit can be given a Destination or target with left click and unit speed can be controlled with the throttle beside the unit info panel. Some types of aircraft and UFO are capable of performing an invasive role triggered by the icon on the info panel which can dodge incoming projectiles. Oh, that's cool. This must be the throttle on the left here. Uh, these must be evasive maneuvers. Uh, if an interceptor is shot down in air combat, it will be recovered and rebuilt, but it will be out of action for a prolonged period of time. If an interceptor is badly damaged, 
fly it away from danger and use the retreat icon on the info panel. Okay, so uh, they both have a target of the enemy and I don't really need it to do anything but fly out and shoot this thing down. Uh, and you can see they automatically are changing the direction. Uh, it's turning to fire on us. Oh, and we got it. That that firing was really loud. Uh, and then we win. Uh, and so... Uh, abandoned speedboat discovered. Energy weapon discharge evident. Crew of... Sus what does that say? Crew of eight suspected abducted. So the aliens abducted people out of a boat. And I just shot down the plane they were on. So... Uh, let's save this, save game. Uh, we'll call this uh, successful. We don't need that for a save game. We'll save this as main because we're back on the main. Save. Yes. And then we'll fly our people home. Freak storm. Oh, this is cool. Category 5 storm. Forming clear skies, meteorologists perplexed, alien activity presumed. Interesting. I'm going to speed this up a little bit more. Uh, UFO sighted by local... I was reading that. <laughs> alien invasion. Uh, we completed this. You've probably already noticed we're being invaded. <laughs> Uh, so I won't state the obvious. The situation is bleak. None of the major powers are able to defend their own airspace, uh, let alone protect the rest of the planet. It seems that it, things are up to us. Why is it up to us? Uh, my team stand ready to help. There may only be a handful of us, but some of the finest minds on the planet are at work in your laboratories. Good. Um... Um, this is probably the most in-depth study of the invasion to date. Uh, we've identified over 3,000 separate UFOs in orbit around the planet. Whoa. With uh, several times that amount of additional probable signals. Fleet is comprised of craft of various sizes. The UFO already sighted entering our atmosphere represent the smallest orbital signatures detected, while the largest signals identified appear to be enormous warships with dimensions rivaling that of modern aircraft carriers. Good. Uh, glimmer of hope remains. The alien craft seem poorly suited to atmospheric flight. Our interceptors may enjoy some early success against superior extraterrestrial vessels simply due to better adaptation to the combat environment. Okay. I play on a monitor on basically TV, and uh, some of these text on here is tiny if you're wondering why I'm having some issues reading this. Uh, this also explains the relatively small craft. Large craft will only appear in the later stages of the invasion. Uh, I have two recommendations that we consider supplementing our existing F-17 Condor aircraft with a heavier interceptor capable of carrying more powerful weapons and that we investigate some form of battlefield support vehicle to aid our soldiers when securing crashed alien craft. Both proposals are ready, uh, are already on your desk. All right. I'm going to close this. Uh, new projects will, new projects available for research. High speed interceptor hunter scout car. Uh, I want to look at the high speed interceptor. Uh, let's add that too. We'll drop you down by five and we'll put five on this. Uh, and we'll let those guys, uh, look at those two missions at the same time. And then I'll speed this back up and hopefully we can get a UFO shot down over land here soon. Uh, we need this UFO. I could have, uh, I could have gone and uh, waited for that UFO to come back over land before I attacked it. That is one of the options. It's 
secure a crashed UFO with ground forces. I will as soon as uh Okay, here we go. Crash site available. Uh, local forces have downed a small alien aircraft requesting Xenonaut assistance to secure the vessel. Okay, now save. And we will send what's an airstrike? That must be to just blow it up. We will send our dropship. Um Interestingly enough, it's way over here in Russia. Uh oh. Come on, we need to send our interceptors out. Take this thing out. Launch. I totally didn't save for UFO spotted. Don't let it get the dropship. Uh. Engage. I probably should have just auto resolved that. Let them take care of it. Alright, what's this one here? Afterburner. Oh, nice. And then this is retreat. Okay. Our weapons have a greater range than the than the aliens. That's really interesting to me. That we have a better range. Uh, now the you can see the uh, day night cycle panning over, uh, panning over the map here. Uh, that whoa, look at that! That all popped up on my screen all at once. Um, and you can see this is going to be a night mission because we were in the night when uh, our ship got there. So. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Xenonauts, turn-based combat. Uh, each unit's got TUs. And uh, you can see down here, this is their TUs. Uh, each thing they do takes up time units, so TUs. And once all of your people have run through their turn, then you click on in turn to let the aliens take their turn. Um, Left-clicking allows them to move. Right-clicking... Launch you to open doors or change the direction they're facing. If you left click on an enemy, uh, you can uh, fire on them. And this is uh, new to me. If you right click on a target, then your people will uh, aim more carefully. And so you can actually right click a couple of times to increase their uh, their abilities uh, or their aiming ability. Uh, crash site briefing. The objective of this mission is to secure the UFO, which will contain artifacts to research. Uh, simplest way to win is to eliminate all the alien units. Uh, if the UFO has been shot down, a number of crew are likely to have died on impact. And some of the recoverable items may have exploded or been destroyed. Remember to use smoke suppression shields. Uh, smoke suppression or shields reduce the amount of reaction fire your soldiers take when they assault the UFO. Night mission briefing. It just tells me that uh, we'll have reduced visibility because of the, the night time. So, all right. Now, I also... <laughs> I also want to save here, so in combat. Yes, the other in combat. I don't know why I just typed that in. The other in combat is uh, the one that I was playing earlier. Uh, here on the left, you can see TU reserve. Uh, I usually set these down to like snap. It gives your people a chance to uh, to fire if they see something. Uh, and then you can see green bar here is just letting me know how far they can move. Uh, all right. And so that's uh, that's our first unit moved. All right, number two. Uh, this is my sniper. So their snap is actually more time units. It's got to use... Okay, this is the bottom of the map. So, And this is the left edge of the map. So everything's got to be this way. That's a little cheaty thing that I, uh, I've i learned from playing these kinds of games. Map's only so big, so it doesn't just keep going. This is an edge. I can't go any farther that way. This is an edge. I can't go any farther this way. So we're in the bottom left-hand corner. So we actually should be heading out this way. All right. Switch to unit three. Put him on a snap. Come 
Come on, go. Unit four, snap. I don't like this being... We're, like, really cornered here. Uh, now, this, this one here is my heavy weapons guy. He's only got burst, which takes 52 TU, and he's only got 65 TU. So I'm probably going to leave him on just run, and then uh, we'll worry about his ability to do things later. Uh, one of the messages that they gave us was that we have uh, unlimited flares that we can throw. And the flares help increase... Oops, I just threw it right next to me. Help increase your uh, sight range. <laughs> Not if you throw it two inches from you, but... That must be a human. So, hey human, you, you might want to mosey on this way a little bit. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. Hidden movement. We don't know where the aliens are at. You can hear them open and close doors, though. Oh, he just fired, too, on somebody. Run, human, run. Oh, did they get him? Oh, no, he's hiding. Cowering. See him cower. Okay. Uh, back to unit number one. All right, we need you... To run this way, now that I've discovered you can't go the other way. You too. Sniper. Okay. Uh, unit 4. I don't like this being out in the open stuff. 20 to you. Let's throw a flare down here. Light things up a little bit. Just gives you a little extra range of sight. It's not... Uh, I'm actually going to run you over here. Just in case. I just wanted him to peek around the corner here for me. Uh, Alright, and then... I don't want to get people too far spread out. We'll send a couple of teams out. Okay. That's my eight. Oh, I thought an alien was going to get me, but it was just that human. All right. Uh, number one. We'll have you finally maybe catch up with the team a little bit here. Sniper. We'll get you over here. And then I'm not going to move those guys this turn. Uh, just because... I want everybody to be able to move together. This guy's actually moved way too much at this point. He needs to wait until the rest of his team can catch up with him. Because he doesn't have... Uh, a decent weapon. And let's go ahead and save while we're still alive here, okay? Yep. Overwhelm. Or overwhelm. Overwrite. Whoa. I think the aliens may have come through where I didn't expect them to. Uh... Go. Oh. I wasn't expecting... I I think they may have snuck through right here, and they're probably firing on that poor human. Um, okay, let's turn off your snap so we can throw a flare down here. Nope, can't see nothing yet. Okay, uh, let's get you up here. I 
I could be wrong. There might not be. I think maybe that thing right there, though. Could be an alien unit. Okay, that big opening there makes me a little nervous. Oh, and we've got alien contact. There's an alien. All right. Uh, you don't actually have enough. And then we'll use this button here. What's this one? Toggle roof. This one is... Not going to tell me. And that one's toggle crouch. We'll have him couch, crouch down behind the uh, rocks here. Or log. That's a log, not a rock. Uh, nope, nope. I need you. Alright, and then if we can get you... Nope. Can't get you out here yet. Uh, there's also single shot and burst. Or three shot here. Man, if we can get you... Can't fire. Dang it, really? Uh, don't have enough. I can't do anything with you either. Uh, what if I switch down to one shot? Can you hit him with one shot? It's only 17. Let's move you back around here. Move. Okay. This might go bad. Really? Oh, the alien ship is right there. Look at there's the alien ship. That went to a little better than I was expecting. <laughs> that alien did not fire on me at all. Weird. I was totally expecting alien fire. What's that laying on the ground there? Sorry, I keep hitting the uh, scroll wheel to zoom in. And uh, scroll wheel switches between your guys. It doesn't zoom in. Where did you go? There you are. Squat down behind that. Oh, really? You can't fire on that? Dang it. What about you? Can you fire? <laughs> oh, that's terrible aim. Uh, okay. All my people have moved, so... Also a terrible aim. Kind of got lucky there. That guy was bad aim, too. Uh, let's keep you on snap. What, are you scared or something? It's just an alien. Some reason I can't target that alien. Oh well. Let's just have you crouch down then. Let's 
Suppressed. That's what they did to my guy. They suppressed him. Okay. Why, why can't anybody... Oh, there's like a pile of rubble in the way. Weird. Can't catch him. Okay. Get these guys around the corner real quick. Oh, there's a dead guy, but there's two dead aliens here. He must have fired on them? <laughs> Everybody's a bad aim. All right. I seriously don't know why we can't shoot that alien. It's so weird. You're on snap. Uh, now she's right in the way. Oh, she moved. Okay. You. Snap. Yeah, I want him to fire on it. What? Why can't you fire? Fire. <sighs> Whoa, I shot my own people. Whoops. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we won. Uh, we won. Uh, surviving local forces. One of one, surviving civilians, one of two, so good. Uh, Xenot casualties, one, that was my fault. Aliens killed, four, excellent, good, we win. Um, guard corpse destroyed, Com civilian non combatant corpse destroyed, alien plasma battery, alien plasma pistol, alien plasma rifle, awesome, two alien alloys, light scout, data core, alien alloys, civilian guard corpse, alien plasma pistol, alien. Plasma Rifle, all sent to Research Division. Uh, and we got uh, $27,000 back from that. So, uh, alright. I think that was an okay first mission. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna leave these uh, guys researching what they're researching for now. And uh, we'll, we'll take that first hit, alright? It, it works. So... <laughs> And I'm going to call the game here. So click like if you like. Subscribe if you're sure and catch the next one. I'll talk to you later.